session this morning was meant to be a very practical uh, session for clinicians who are interested in FMT and performing FMT. Um, I started off by just a real nuts and bolts um, how to do FMT and from anywhere from the decision which patients do you treat, how do you identify a donor, how do you deliver that material and what kind of follow-up do you need to do for these patients. I was then followed by Monica Fisher who's at Indiana University. She talked about what how to manage FMT failures and certainly FMT is a very, very um, uh, effective procedure. Um, up to 90% of patients after a single dose of clonoscopic FMT get better, but there are that 10% of patients who fail one or more um, repeated FMTs. Um, and then we had Stacy Kahn, who's at Boston Children's, and she talked about the future of FMT and really what's happening uh, with, in research setting looking at uh, FMT for other conditions outside of C. difficile. So the main take-home message for me was the first speaker who talked about really systematically assessing first the indication, then the patient, the selection, going through the whole um, indications, contraindications, telling about potentially adverse events, contraindications. I thought it was very interesting to hear the different um, indications for FMT because um, I'm not really familiar with using using uh, FMT, so that it's not only for um, C diff, but that it's broadly used. Um, in the future. There are potentially a lot of ways to perform FMT. There's no, we don't know yet what is the right way to perform FMT. All methods are highly effective. Uh, it may depend on uh, the comfort of the site or the specific characteristics of the patient that you're treating, but um, it's important to just develop a protocol around how you want to do FMT, how you're going to identify the right patients, uh, kind of what's your system going to be for finding donors and delivering the material. I really think that hopefully uh, the registry, the plant registry, will help us learn a little bit more about real world efficacy of FMT and maybe give us a little bit more data of, uh, to guide providers in uh, what is the be best method for administering FMT, what may be the most effective, and um, certainly if there are any uh, long term uh, effects which are at this point you know, uh, not known. If you are doing uh, FMT and you're doing uh, a large amount of FMT at your center, we would be really interested in talking to you about getting involved with the registry. Um, you can contact the registry staff through the uh, AGA website and we're looking at enrolling sites that are doing FMT by all kinds of methods and, um, and getting, uh, getting everyone to participate in this joint effort.